Hello and welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Now, I got a new setup, new desk, so uh, I had to mess around with my room to set everything up and I messed stuff up on my computer and yada yada yada. Face cam did not work for some reason and my microphone in this video recorded off of this crappy webcam mic. Wow, I just screwed up my monitor a little bit. but. I'm so sorry. I'll fix it for the next video. It's going to be a little bit annoying, but hopefully you guys do enjoy the content of the video. Hello guys and welcome back to yet another Boom Beach video. As you guys can tell, my setup changed. I just got a new desk and it's similar to Christian. So now we have similar recording styles. We're both recording from a corner of a room. I'm still working out my lighting. Don't worry. It's it, it might be permanent, but it might look bad when I go back and edit. But before we hop into the three Max Shock Blasters versus Hammerman, that's right, you guys requested that. I don't think it'll blow up as much as the Hot Pot one, but hopefully it does. Uh, so make sure you guys drop the like, share it if you want. But um, unfortunately, I talked with Christian today, and if you guys know, he is going to college. And you might be wondering, Jimmy, why is this your third Boom Beach video in a row? And I'm, I'm like, y you know what? Um, time to explain it. He talked to me earlier, um, and we're unsure of the future of Christian with, like, the next couple months or so, because he will be super busy over at college. He will pre-record a couple videos, and he will probably explain it tomorrow, but he is unsure. So, just don't be surprised if you see more of me and the less of him. Now, that's a bad thing to some of you, hopefully a good thing to most of you, but, um, if you guys want Christian to, uh, stay on this channel, uh, make sure you guys comment, Christian, come back, with with a comma between Christian and come back. Um, I know you guys will comment that, so I have your support. I want Christian to stay, but uh, just kidding. He, he's staying. I, I just wanted to make an excuse why this is my third Boom Beach video in a row. And that's because Hammerman's out right now, and I want to post that as soon as possible. So, uh, just just let you know, guys. Three max shock blasters. The goal is to see how well the Shock Blasters do against Hammerman's troops. It's not necessarily to beat Hammerman or to have the best base design behind it, but it's just to see how well troops do, um, just these troops do against the Shock Blasters. So, uh, it's okay. It's okay if I lose. Um, I will change it up a little bit if I do lose. Don't worry. I, I, I might not beat this one, but the point is for me to see how well my troops do versus Hammerman. I know it's not the best base design. Um, uh, you guys let me know on that in the comments below. Uh, you, you guys let me know on that last time. So uh, I, I just want to clarify. Uh, it's not. It's it's not necessarily the point. It's just to see how it does. Like Christian uh, with his videos, they definitely. <laughs> he's not trying to win. He's just trying to see how the troops hold up. So these shock. Blasters are not holding up well. I think they will versus like higher level troops, but against these uh, very spammy troops, they are not holding up too well versus them. That's why we have the base behind so that we still hopefully beat Hammerman, but we just want to see how well these sh three shock blasters do against them. Now, I think the next thing I'm going to do is damage amplifiers if you guys do show support for this video. Uh, uh, I just want to see just uh, no no ice no ice statues versus hammermen uh, it looks like the zookas and riflemen and uh, warriors did take it out we'll just put on time stew here hopefully uh, <laughs> uh, just taking it out there goes stage two they took out our shock blasters very early so <laughs> uh, this is gonna be scary we'll see what they throw at us this way it looks like a lot of riflemen oh man I, I don't think they'll survive this one Oh, we're going to have to change up our base design. I might go to my default Hammerman base design after this. Uh, and hopefully do take it out. Now, I do have some place to be in a few minutes. So, uh, I might be a little rushed today. But that's that's fine. Uh, I know you guys will understand. So, what I might do is... I think I might bring down the shock launchers and rocket launchers. Because I do want that support. Then. Definitely not the best way to use, utilize it. But shock launchers definitely do need a little more support than the... Uh, than the hot pots really did because hot pots just tear through whatever troop they want and they're they're wow they already tore through our three uh prototypes so we're gonna put on times two right now uh let uh let them lose to this if they lose to this this would be horrible but i don't think they will rocket launcher is doing too much 
now it's just down to the tanks. Uh, so, slowly but surely taking it out. Definitely will be able to. The medics will not be able to sustain those boom cannon shots. So I preemptively said I might not be able to take it out uh, in not seriousness. Uh, so there we go. Take it out. Oh, no. We'll put it on times four because it will just take a while. The sniper tower is trying to pick at it. Um, I can tell you, I don't think I'll be able to beat this hammerman. I think I will with the damage amplifier, but I'm not really sure. So we're going to bring up a couple of rocket launchers here. We're going to put it... Uh, can I even put it there? Put one there. Put one up here. Actually, we'll put it up farther. I'm just trying to find a place. I Maybe I should have put the mines out in front more, but we'll get the shock launchers up here as well. And then... This is a very spread out base, so if they do break through the front line there. Alright, so I sloppily put it in there. Hopefully that does help to see the shock blasters, uh, just how well the shock blasters do against that. Uh, so we got heavy, heavy and riflemen there. Oh wow, I, I thought I saw Zookas in there, but, uh, we'll see how this does. It looks like they should be able to. We got grenadiers on the other side. That is not good. Oh man. Grenadiers, if medics do come out, we are going to fail this. Oh, man, they're already destroying our... Oh, they're already destroying through our sh shock blasters. Wow, this is such a fail. If there's one more boat, I'm going to fail this. I might fail it anyway. Oh, come on, rocket launchers. You got to take out the riflemen. You got to take them out. Oh, no. All right, so come on. All right, so it looks like we are taking out the riflemen here. There is still a layer of them. We gotta. I was hoping the rocket launcher would thin them out more, but we do have the mortars attacking. Now, I'm getting kind of nervous as we get toward the end of this base. Our boom cannon should have our backs, but will they is the question. Uh, we might actually have to switch to the other base design. It's just going to be a time battle from here. And come on, boom cannon taking it out even more. Come on, take them out. Okay, so it looks like we were able to barely take out this stage. Oh, yeah. Just barely. So, I kind of misexplained things earlier. So, my goal is to beat Hammerman, but first, it's to see how well the Shock Blasters do against against Hammerman's troops. So, we might just go switch it up quick. We'll do times four here. Come on. It's going to be a time battle, like I said. He's missing. Come on. I want you to hit it. So, the boom. Wow. What is he aiming for? Oh, my gosh. Ten seconds left if we don't get him to walk up. So, the slowest ten seconds of my life. Taken away. Tick, tock, tick, tock. As he throws everything. There we go. Barely took it out. I didn't even see the boom cannon shot hit. I kind of glitched out the screen there. So, this is my base design regularly. Uh, so, what are we going to do? Hmm. We want the shock launchers on the level up here. We'll get some flamethrowers back there. Hopefully we utilize the shock launchers. We'll throw a doom here. We'll throw sniper tower back there. Um, we'll get a flamethrower behind it, and then we'll throw in this shock launcher up here. Now, I'm kind of cheating here. Don't get me wrong. I know. Oh, okay. There we go. We got them on the front level, so they should be able to take it out. Stage five. I'm gonna destroy you. Even though I saw the rifleman grenadiers. Oh man, I think I saw Grenadiers. Warriors, Riflemen, and Grenadiers is what I believe I saw. So we're going to put on time two right away. Come on. The Shock Blaster is so inefficient against these troops. It needs like tanks to just be efficient. So it looks like he cleared a pretty big wave there. But uh, I think a lot of Riflemen will come in the right side right as we thin it out. Oh, a lot of Grenadiers. Oh man. Shoot. Uh, come on. They can't take out the Boom Cannons. Don't take out the Boom Cannons. Oh. Or we'll put it on times one right now. Okay, so if that that was the final wave, so we should be able to take it out here. The shock blasters are doing a number onto the grenadiers, I do have to say. But yeah, looks like we were able to take out this stage. We'll put it on times two as the rocket launchers from the back do snipe it. Um, now I do know that that's not the best base design I do have for uh, defending hammermen, but that is what I used to use, and I used to get pretty far unboosted when it was kind of easier. I believe it was used to be easier, didn't it? I think so. Uh, my face cam just dropped out a while ago. Uh, wow. I, I think I'm out of memory, so unfortunately, uh, the face cam did drop. I wonder how far ago it dropped. Probably. 
I, I, I don't know. So we're going to put on times two here. Um, uh, Alright, so this one does have medics, so I think that is going to be a problem. Warriors and medics. I uh, wish we could do that in an actual video, but you know. Maybe I will. Should I do warriors and medics, guys? Should I do it? Uh, comment if you guys want me to do that. See what does happen. Uh, so this looks to be a fail. I think damage amplifiers will be the way to go for the next video, though. Uh, are, are, riflemen, are the riflemen going to tear through the base here? <sighs> looks like it is. <laughs> tear through pretty well, actually. Uh... Okay, we do have a couple mortars behind the HQ. That is the reason I did put them there, was to stop from, like, these small rifleman pushes at the end. But will they take it out? Come on! Take them out! Those are medics! The medics are killing me! I didn't realize there were still medics alive. Okay, come on. Boom cannon. Do your job. Take out the rifleman. We don't care about the medics. This is a close. It's down to the wire. Oh my gosh, we took it out. We actually beat stage 6 with this crappy strategy. I'm super surprised. Oh my gosh, that is awesome, actually. We took it out fairly easily. Uh, getting that prototypes back. I know it's not worth it. I know it's not an even trade. I know there'll be someone who said, stuff not worth it. Um, but still, it, it's fun. Uh, so we're upgrading a cannon. Maybe that's the reason. So we're going to put it on times four for this one. Because I don't think I'll be able to beat it just because of all the medics that will probably spawn. So uh, put it on times four. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, look at that swarm, the medics. <sighs> Hot Pots would have been a good one this week, but unfortunately, we lost to Hammerman. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. I'm pretty sure I'm doing damage amplifiers the next time, so uh, that's probably what I'll do. We'll just load this uh, default base design here. Um, but thank you for watching. Again, uh, I know it's kind of a dumb joke, but Christian is not going anywhere anytime soon. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon either. Uh, I know some of you might hope that as well, but I'm not. But thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next Boom Beach video. Bye-bye.